up in the drip when I splash, yeah. Ain't got time to chat, yeah. I'm running to the back. Hold up, can't chat. Run it up, run it up. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back at it again in the reaction video. Today we're going to get into Immortal Disfigurement Drag Through the Infernal official video. So, you guys requested this one and you said, yo, you got to check it out. It's CJ McCreary. Um, he was the vocalist for Lorna, Sh Lorna Shore before Will Ramos. I liked CJ. I like Will too. Um, I really liked uh, Immortal by Lorna Shore. Gas, yeah, one of my favorite songs. I like CJ's vocals in that song. He's got a deep range. Anyways, um, we're going to get into it. I'm expecting it to be pretty heavy for two reasons. One, CJ is a heavy vocalist. And two, just the name of the band, Immortal Disfigurement, Drag the Inferno song. I mean, it sounds heavy. So we're going to get into it. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button with this notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Then up here, I have all my social media that are most active on. Yes, I make music, Spotify, Pandora, Google Play, Apple Music, wherever you listen to music. I'm there. Search your boy up. Links for all that in the description down below, as well as I will leave a card right here for my latest song. Uh, you should go check that out. It's awesome. So, with all that out of the way, hope you're having a good day. Come vibe with your boy. Yes. The symphony vibe, the orchestra vibe. His voice is crazy. There we go. Oh, that reminded me of Immortal a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, I like this part. This song's heavy, dude. <laughs> this is heavy. Okay, that started off heavy, but it just got heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. That was heavy. That's one of the heaviest songs I've ever heard for sure. Like including Infinite Annihilator, Lorna Shore, like all of it. Like that's definitely top five heaviest songs I've ever heard. Now, mind you, I haven't done slam metal or black metal or... There's another metal in there, I think, that's like just, it's almost like noise at that point. It's just super heavy. But as far as me, this is definitely one of the heaviest songs I've ever heard. Now, let's get into the video first before we get into the song. The video, I love the aesthetic. It was very simple. Um, you know, they didn't have like pyrotechnics or CGI or anything in there. Uh, but it, it, it had this elegant to it and I think that's with the the women in there and even the way that they're dressed like CJ's dressed nice in a button up the bandmates are kind of dressed a little bit nicer everything is black for sure but they have a nicer attire the gold watch the gold chain gold belt buckle like there's certain things that pop there's an element of a little bit of lavishness to it uh, which is cool because the aesthetic is kind of a cross between like heavy metal, the tattoos, the piercings and all this stuff, and then a little bit more of like a nicer button up and, and it's a cool little aesthetic. I really like that. Uh, the girls obviously are very attractive and they have the outfits with the, the masquerade um, kind of mask with the, the horns and stuff. So that kind of plays into that elegant kind of nicer high-end aesthetic and it's shot in 4K. I mean, the quality is just phenomenal maybe it was shot in 6k and rendered down in 4k i don't know it's just phenomenal very clear color looks great i like the contrast between uh the scenes with cj uh, just kind of all black and even maybe the way that they colored it uh he's almost kind of like a shadow with a white background um you know just little things like that throughout the video that were just visually appealing i like the video now the song itself, obviously the the guitar, um, it's certain parts when he was, it was almost like a, um, probably three mini solos, you know, there was like, he had a, just mini solos throughout the song, it felt like, and the drums were really good, the drums, I always love drums and metal music, intense, nothing crazy in here with the drums though, comparatively to a lot of other songs, but still nice. Now, the vocals, <sighs> 
when I reacted to Lorna Shore, when the internet reacted to Lorna Shore with Will Ramos, when that was kind of their first song they put out with a new vocalist, everybody was going crazy. Um, you kind of had people on the fence saying, oh, I think CJ's better. Oh, I think Will's better. And, you know, from the jump, I was saying I preferred CJ, even though they're both equally uh, talented, I think. And you can tell from here, like, people were saying that Will is way more talented than CJ. And, you know, rightly so, in your own opinion. Uh, me, personally, I think they're both top-tier vocalists. Like, they have their own styles. Like, CJ was doing a lot of things with his voice where it was, like, super guttural. And then he would almost go up in range but hit different pockets on the way up like super guttural then a low then a mid then like a mid high then a high and i mean he was like it was just weird flow like a paintbrush but with his voice it was very very cool to see you can tell he's a top tier vocalist with the sheer control he has over his vocals right and same thing can be said for will ramos um they're both fantastic vocalists super 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 talented now with his vocals here now i don't know if it's it's common in rap for rappers to beef and to take shots at each other i don't know if that's common in other genres country metal rock whatever um maybe there's kind of a little bit of a a, a shot here it it will and lorna shore i don't know i don't know how they fell apart and, you know, Will came in and I, I don't know the story behind the band and how, um, you know, CJ with, was with Lorna Shore, it fell apart and then Will is now with Lorna Shore. I don't know if there's bad blood there. I don't know if they're cool. I don't know the story, but if there is some bad blood and it didn't go very smooth, I think maybe this could be kind of like maybe a subtle kind of shot, to, not necessarily a diss, but just like, hey, Everybody was freaking out at will and kind of, you know, disregarding me and throwing me under, um, you know, on the back burner. But check this out. You know what I'm saying? It's not from his perspective. He's like, yo, I can do that. Look what I can do. Um, and he's kind of showing off and it's maybe a answer to that. Or it could be looking just way, way too into it. And that is not it at all. And they're just vibing out and making music. But, um, you know, I could see how people might take it that way. You know, um, especially if you know more about the history of the bands and what's going on and their relationships and stuff. I don't know. So, but it, it does kind of seem very similar to Into the Hellfire at certain parts. And, you know, there's a crazy vocal like, dude, CJ did something in here with his voice. He was it's like, someone said it was like a velociraptor. I, it was, it definitely was weird. Like Will Ramos did the, uh, the pig squeal kind of demon I don't know. Everybody doesn't know what that noise is. You can't describe it, but you know what I'm talking about if you've seen Into the Hellfire. It just was crazy. CJ did that here too, but um, it was deeper and it was just, it sounded like a monster. So anyways, all that aside, uh, this song might be too heavy for me. I don't know. I'm probably not going to put it on the playlist. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to listen to it again. It was very, very heavy. There's definitely elements in this song that uh, I like. There was parts that I liked, but overall as a whole, it was very kind of overwhelming with the heaviness. I don't know if I'm there yet, but uh, regardless, I can still appreciate the musicianship and the, and the talent behind you know, what went into this song and this record and the, the bandmates and the vocals and everything. Like it, I know it's top tier. You know, Even if I'm not a fan of it, I can still recognize that it's like, dude, that's, none of this is easy. <laughs> None of this is easy to play on any of the instruments or the vocals. Like these dudes are talented, and um, it's weird because even though I don't necessarily like the vocals because it's so heavy, I like the vocals uh, or maybe the skill behind it. Right? Like it's just cool to see, you know, like with A uh, Alex in Slaughter to Prevail. Just seeing him do like at home videos of him doing that is like crazy. I don't necessarily like the noise, but I think it's so cool that a human being can do these things with their voice. Does that make sense? It's just, I don't know, it's wild to me. It's so cool. And I know a lot of a lot of you metal heads are like, dude, this is just another Tuesday afternoon. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? But it's so cool to see, um, you know, that novelty still hasn't worn worn off for me. I, I enjoy seeing it. So anyways, this was cool, man. This was really, really heavy. This was crazy. Um, I, I like CJ. I like his style. I like 
this band's style. I want to jump more into them. Maybe there's a song where uh, it's a little bit more like a, um, Immortal with Lorna Shore because it did have more orchestra elements in it and uh, more symphonic kind of metal in there throughout the song. This one, I feel like it started pretty strong with orchestra and symphony and kind of fizzled out towards the end and just got heavier and heavier, <laughs> which is like a super heavy song. Um, but if they have more songs with kind of that balance of the orchestra and the metal, I really kind of vibe with that. So, um, yeah, if there's more songs like that and you guys want to want me to jump into it with Immortal Disfigurement, I'd love to get into it. So anyways, that'll do it for today's reaction video. Apologize for talking your ear off. Uh, I just got a little excited, a little carried away there. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow, helps the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate the love and support as always. Thank you very much for showing up and showing love. You know what to do. Leave some comments in the comment section down below. What did you think about this, uh, this song? Just as a song by itself, but also what do you think is it kind of a, a back and forth competitive thing between Immortal Disfigurement and CJ and Will Ramos and Lorna Shore, you know, or is it not? What are your thoughts on that? As well as if you have any other songs by Immortal Disfigurement that you want me to get into, leave it down below and I'd love to check them out. As well as if you did like this song and you do like this band, go support them, subscribe to the YouTube, follow them on social media, stream their music anywhere that you stream music and help support the artists and bands that you like. So with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm sending positive vibes your way. And until next time, I'm out. Let's get this bag. I tower over these rappers just like the Eiffel. I'm probably in the scope of inner scope, not talking rifles. My competition's depressing. I really got no rivals. They only start dissing me when they feeling suicidal. Someone check the vitals. I'm going places with my brothers like Wayne's. This my martial matters flow. It be going through changes. I've been growing and changing.